Hey guys, welcome to Cyber Platter. This is Navya. We are starting a new series on Microsoft Sentinel. The aim of this series is to ensure that you can work independently with Microsoft Sentinel or even master it by the end of this series. And this will primarily feature demo chapters to provide you, you know, hands-on experience. But we will begin with the foundational theory that is covering what Microsoft Sentinel is and its architecture. So what is Microsoft Sentinel? Microsoft Sentinel is a solution, security solution that combines SIM and SOAR solutions. It has both the capabilities. So it's designed to provide comprehensive visibility and enhance security for organizations by detecting, investigating, and responding to threats in real time. So I said it is a combination of SIM and SOAR. What is SIM? SIM stands for Security Information and event management. It combines two core functionalities. The first one is SIM, that is information management, security information management. And the other one is SEM, that is security event management. SIM focuses on log collection, storage, and analysis. So this helps organizations track and manage historical data from various systems. This can be for forensics, compliance, or auditing purposes. The next core functionality of SIM is SEM, that is uh, Security Event Management. This deals with real-time monitoring and correlation of events. So this helps detect suspicious activities or potential threats across an organization's IT infrastructure. Now that we understand what is SIM, we'll see what is SOAR. SOAR stands for Security Orchestration Automation and response. This is a security solution that focuses on improving the efficiency and effectiveness of an organization's security uh, operations. Like the name suggests, it combines automation, incident management, and response orchestration. Because of this, it streamlines workflows and reduces manual effort. So security orchestration integrates multiple security tools and systems to work together seamlessly. Like, for example, different platforms such as firewalls, SIMs, endpoint security can communicate and coordinate actions. Next is the automation part. It automates repetitive tasks such as, you know, alert triggering, log analysis, and initial response actions. So this reduces manual effort, enabling security teams to focus on complex threats. The next part is response. It is usually incident response. So this provides tools for managing and responding to security uh, incidents effectively. This can include playbooks, workflows to guide, you know, teams through standardized response procedures. So now we know what is SIM and SOAR and what are their capabilities. All these are provided by Microsoft Sentinel because it is a combination of both SIM and SOAR. And what sets Microsoft Sentinel apart from the other SIM and SOAR solutions is its pay-as-you-go pricing model. That means you only pay for the data you ingest and store. So this makes it a cost-effective option for businesses of all sizes. It's a very flexible approach and it also ensures that you are not locked into expensive upfront costs or licensing fees. So in the other SIM and SOAR solutions, usually you have to pay an expensive upfront cost or, you know, there is licensing that happens. You'll have to pay for that as well. That is not there in Sentinel. Also, Microsoft Sentinel is a fully cloud native solution that is delivered as software as a service solution. That is SaaS solution. This means that you don't have to worry about maintaining infrastructure, deploying hardware or managing updates. It is all handled by Microsoft. So there are different service models like SaaS, Software as a Service, Platform as a Service, PaaS, and IaaS, that is Infrastructure as a Service, and there is On-Premises. And Sentinel is SaaS. So if you are using an on-premise SIM, then the customer, then, that is the organization, will have to manage the entire stack that is, you know, from starting networking, storage, servers, virtualization, OS, middleware, runtime, application, identities, and data. And then there is IaaS. That is, for example, say you are running a SIM on Azure virtual machines. 
then you can see that the cloud provider or any provider will manage the virtualization servers storage and networking that is the infrastructure part and the customer is responsible for the rest so management overhead in ias compared to on premises decreased again if you go to pass it decreases more for the customer because the customer is maintaining only the applications identity and data but then if you see in saas that is what the microsoft sentinel model is you are maintaining only the data and the identities and accounts part so the customer that is the organization is responsible only for the data that they ingest and store what kind of configuration that they require and the identity identities or accounts that is that falls under identity and access management because sentinel is provided as a saas solution there is no hardware or software maintenance that the customer will have to do and also it automatically scales with the organization's needs and the team can focus on security that is it allows organization to focus on threat detection and response instead of you know maintaining infrastructure and microsoft sentinel can be accessed from two places one is the microsoft azure portal so like you can see it in this picture this is in microsoft azure in microsoft azure you search for microsoft sentinel so microsoft azure uh, url is portal.azure.com if you log into this you land on the home page and then you search for microsoft sentinel we will talk about this more in the next chapters where i show you how to get a free trial how you can get your own microsoft sentinel the other way that you can log into sentinel is from microsoft defender portal now you can also access it from the Def defender portal so the defender portal aims to combine all the security capabilities right so you can find it there as well so in this screenshot it is in microsoft defender and if you see here there's a separate tab for microsoft sentinel and you can find all the details here and the url for this is security.microsoft.com now that we know what is microsoft sentinel what are the capabilities how it can be accessed let's go to microsoft sentinel's architecture sentinel integrates with a wide range of data sources to collect mostly security related data but you can collect other data as well like you can see here sentinel supports direct integration with major public cloud platforms uh like for example azure obviously aws google cloud and more so you can collect security logs events and telemetry not just from azure but also from other public clouds and then it supports data ingestion from on premises servers and devices like for example you see windows linux macbooks you can do this using agents or custom integrations it also allows integrations from custom or third party data sources using apis or custom scripts to expand its capabilities not just apis you can also use you know logic apps or azure functions to establish custom log ingestion so the other use cases for you know data sources would be you know you're sending data from azure active directory that is now microsoft enter id then azure monitor microsoft defender or you know if you have other security tools like for example service now you're getting data from there as well and also sentinel itself provides a lot of built in connectors for seamless integration so all of this data is sent to log analytics workspace sentinel relies on log analytics workspace for storing and querying data it supports both structured like for example table and unstructured like for example json data so all of the data is sent to log analytics workspace this acts as the central repository for logs metrics and other security related data and sentinel uses kql to analyze and query this data for insights and you can also send data from threat intelligence sources so sentinel uses microsoft's uh, threat intelligence but you can also get your own threat intelligence sources as well if you have anything in your organization threat intelligence is to enrich the collected data like it identifies non malicious ips domains or file hashes and it can also correlate data with known threat patterns for faster detection of attack 
And these are some of the core functionalities that Sentinel provides for monitoring and incident response. The first one is incidents. It is for correlation of alerts into actionable incidents for investigation. Next is analytics. This is built-in and customizable rules to detect anomalies and suspicious activities. Then there is notebooks. These are interactive Jupyter-based notebooks for advanced threat hunting and analysis. Next, we have workbooks. These are pre-built and customizable dashboards to visualize and report on security metrics. And then there is hunting. So it is proactive threat hunting using machine learning and KQL queries. And then there are playbooks. These are automated response workflows built using Azure Logic Apps to mitigate threats. So this is just an introduction. We will talk about all these capabilities in depth and also, you know, demos for them. For now, just understand that these are some of the core capabilities that are provided by Sentinel. So you can ingest all the data and also threat intelligence and store it in log analytics workspace. And then Sentinel uses KQL to analyze and query this data for insights. And we also saw some of the Sentinel core components. That's it for today, guys. In the next chapter, we will see how to onboard Microsoft Sentinel. I hope this video helped you understand what is Microsoft Sentinel, what are its capabilities, how is it different from the other solutions, and what is the architecture. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. That helps us a lot. I will see you in the next video again. Bye-bye.